Hi guys, it's Cal from Nerdy Weasel. It's a well-known fact that most games run better in windowed mode. In Bethesda games such as Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 3, epitomizes. They are more stable and therefore less prone to crashes. And well, we all hate crashes. Who wants to play with a border around their game in exchange for that stability? There have been a number of solutions over the years to correct this, from background applications to ENB settings and even individual mods for each game. This video will be covering one such mod that can be used for all three, Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, and even Fallout 3. And it's one tweak by Virusec. It has been recently updated and now individual mods have been uploaded to the Nexus for all three games. Be aware, since this is a script extender plugin, you will need the script extender appropriate for your game, whether that is SKSE, NVSE, or FOSE. So let's take a look at the original Skyrim version first. So here we are the uh, one tweak page on the Skyrim Nexus and you can see it was one tweak by Virusec. It is a Skyrim patch and now when you come down and take a look at it, it supports Skyrim, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Oblivion. This video won't be covering Oblivion, but the process is pretty much the same, except there isn't a separate mod for it, so you'll have to follow the instructions on down farther down below. But for Skyrim, it has these features. Double crosser fix, borderless window, dynamic process priority. I'm not really sure what that means, but I'm sure computer people will know exactly what that means. And for Skyrim only, it has Show Race Menu, Pre-Cache Killer, and No Intro, and possibly more to the future. Obviously, requirements are SKSE, and if you're using Fallout 3, it's FOSE, New Vegas would be NBSE, or Oblivion, SOBSE. Okay? If you want to change these around, you would go ahead, and if you wanted to use it for, like, Oblivion, you could just go and copy it down, and then change the plugin sections to OBSE. But, that's another video. So. For example, if you're doing this manually, you'd want to copy this into this directory right here. Now, I would hope most of you are using a mod manager or a mod organizer to do this, because it's a lot easier and it will hook up with SKSE or one of the other script extenders very easily. There are two, two troubleshooting tips, and they're down here, and we'll go over where in the any tweaks those are. But uh, there's on a certain PC, Skyrim freezes or stops responding on loading screen. I'll give you the solution there. There it is. So, you know, we're for simplicity's sake, we're going to go first and look at Fallout 3. Now, I have it in a brand new install, and when you hit play, and whether you do this on your Steam library or good old games or whatever, Reman game, it's all pretty much the same. Hit play, and this is a new file, or new game rather, and you go into options right here. And you'll see that, you know, this is a new setup, and one of the first things you'll have to do is go into that options right there and you see windowed mode right there. We're going to click that. Okay, we're going to hit OK in a second. But, you know, first thing we're going to do is it automatically changed the resolution to something other than what we want. Most of us run 1920 by 1080 and there's our option right there. Right, so we go ahead. I'm just going to click Ultra. Yeah, okay. Ultra, sure, fine. And hit OK. Now, what you're going to see is exactly what we're talking about, bordered windows. When you hit play, you can go minimize that down, you now have a border all the way around your window. And one tweak is going to get rid of that. Alright guys, so just keep that in mind. That's kind of how this will look. And you notice we can't get down here in the corners real well. You can't even, you know, activate here anything in the border window it's just a pain in the butt so let's get rid of that and try and close fallout 3 there we go all right we will go ahead and minimize that down now for fallout 3 you can come over here to fallout one tweak for fallout 3 and you can see it's one tweak for fallout 3 by virusec it was uploaded by me but it's with his express permission and he uh was gracious enough to let me make the changes and upload it to the Nexus. You can see it's a 21337. Come down here and you read the instructions. It's basically the same. Uh, some of the same information. Uh, the double cursor fix, borderless windows, dynamic process priority. Those are the features, possibly more in the future. 
requirements FOSE. Okay. Installation, Nexus Mod Manager, Mod Organizer, easy peasy, just download and install. Be sure to set the download launcher to mode windowed. We've done that, as you've previously seen, to get all the benefits from one tweak. Okay. Same manual instructions right here. If you ever want to ask questions of VirusSec, you can go over to the link and that links to the Skyrim Nexus post page. Troubleshooting is the same. So what you want to do is go up to Mod Files. And you can see one tweak for Fallout 3. Simple download with manager. So now I have a brand new install a Mod Organizer for Fallout 3. And you can see I've already downloaded it. And it's going to be pretty easy install. Double click to install. You click manual. And we are going to set data data on top. If you're new to Fallout uh, 3 for Mod Organizer, you'll have to refer to those videos. It's pretty easy. So right click, set data directory on top. Docs, FOSE, and FOMOD. We don't even need the FOMOD really, but it looks good. So let's go ahead and install that. And we'll go ahead and activate it. Now it's going to give you a message. I may have messed something up in the instructions, but uh, on downloading mods, it's, it's new for me. So version 2.0.1.1, just like that. And close. There we go. That's up to date. So it'll check for that. So, you know, you see this is the simplest thing. I mean, I have not modded Fallout 3 yet, but it does have SKSE. So, or not SKSE, it has FOSE already installed. If you wanted to take a look at that, you could, but, you know, that's just for example's sake. You can see FOSE is right there, and we'll hit run, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Boom. Pops right to a borderless window. You have the full screen all around all corners, just like that. And it goes into your game. All right, so it launches is perfectly fine. So you can see we're in game now, and uh, just looking around, everything works fine. And we'll show you the main feature of uh, one tweak, and that's the Alt tab. So you hit Alt, Tab, and you're instantly out. No double cursor problems, no nothing like that. We're right back to the internet. You could go to, you can go stream, you can go wherever you want. Okay, so that's how that works. Now, if you want to go back into the game, simply start your game again, and see how. It, by doing Alt Tab, it brings up your pit boy, so nothing really happened while you're gone. Works pretty good. So for Fallout New Vegas, go to the Nexus page and pull it up real fast, and you have Nexus Mods 59266. It is one tweak for FNV, same thing by Virusec, uh, and you have the same basic instructions, but it's been changed to NVSE. It's no longer the requirement is FOSE; it's now NVSE. Same thing. So you go to Files, One Tweak for Fallout New Vegas. Go ahead and download, download that with Manager. And I already have it in, uploaded to my Mod Organizer. You can see it here in the Downloads. And it's ready to go. And same basic install, Manual, Set Data Directory on top. And install. And it's going to end up at the bottom. You know, Obviously, I have more stuff here, but uh, we can go ahead and activate it. And I like to put all my NVSE stuff at the top. Not that it really makes that much of a difference, but that's just how I do it. Uh, you know, obviously NVSE is in here somewhere. So you can, you know, NVSE. But we load for 4 gigabyte FNV, which automatically loads NVSE. Okay. And, you know, the author, Virusec, assures me it makes no difference where you put it. I just do it for organizational purposes right here. Okay. Always near at the top. All right, so there you go. We can go and activate that, and if we wanted to run it, it pops right in. Same thing. Easy peasy. Now, remember we talked about the changes to the problems, and that's under the description page. On certain CP PCs, freezes, stops, responding on loading screens, change foreground priority to two or three in one tweak any. What is the one tweak any? The first time you run any of the one tweaks, it will generate a any file. And we can go ahead and click this, and we can go to the any file, and you have NVSE plugins one tweak dot any. 
and you can go ahead and his instructions said once again change foreground priority to two or three this is if you have the freezes or stops on the loading screen okay foreground priority is going to be okay foreground priority is right there okay now you can see set right at three right now if you had problems with that you would change it to a two and just go and do two okay i want that it's working just fine on three so we can do that and then finally let's just go and check uh, the skyrim version and you can see it's over here on the internet and once again you would go down to files hit one tweak download with manager now i have already done extensive testing and played a lot with this in skyrim mod organizer so it's kind of running on its own and I'm not going to show you how to download it and install it. Yes, I thank you. Thank you, Kent Tannen. And you can see it's over here on one tweak. And you can see, once again, it is under SKSE. Okay. And you have one tweak. Let's just run it. Okay. SKSE. All right, ready to go. And run it. And it pops right up. And we're in game. One Tweak by Virusek. Great mod, uh, very versatile, can use it for four different games. Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3, and even Oblivion. There are only presently three mods, like I said, that will cover it. You can get from the Nexus, but the instructions for Oblivion are about the same if you follow the instructions listed on the page. So just go ahead and enjoy that mod. I find it works very well. And uh, I enjoy it so much, that's why I contacted Virusek and talked to him about expanding it out to the other Nexus sites. So, once again, thanks again for watching. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.